Hi. In this video, we're going to cover the creation of a T intersection. Uh, there are a small number of steps to performing the T intersection that we'll go over now. In the previous video we made, we made an oval traffic system. And what we're going to do now is we're going to insert a T intersection here and here. So we want to clear a couple of pieces out of the current traffic system. So select those two and hit delete a couple of times. Now go over to this section where we're going to start and create, and it can be the anchor. So select it as the anchor and go to traffic system and insert our T intersection. Make sure that your quick spawns off as well. So rotate that to the desired rotation and change the anchor point. There we go. Save that out because we also want to put some straight pieces down this way and another T intersection here. Add a straight piece and save that out and you can add quick spawn on now to insert the rest of our straight pieces and turn quick spawn off. Put in your T intersection. Get it to the desired rotation. And there you have it. That's all the pieces that we need. Now we need to create the links. So, general traffic rules. The direction of the traffic flow is going this way and this way. So we want to create straight links on either one of those. We also can go around the corner on this one. We can go around the corner and across the traffic on this one. And this direction can turn into this lane here. So we want to make all these connections with this T intersection. First off, we select this piece over here and connect the traffic flow over this piece. So anchor to edit all the nodes done. The next piece we want to do is oh while we're on that piece, select the anchor to be that piece again. We're going to connect this primary node up to one of these circle nodes which they're called change lane nodes. You can see which the direction they go in for each of the change lanes. Uh, we want to put a primary node with this change lane node here. If you click on the piece, you can actually see the names or the IDs of each of the, of the change lane nodes, but you don't really care about that because the next system we're about to show you takes into the, the IDs into account and allows you to link it fairly easily. So let's let this be the edit and this is the anchor, so we're linking in this direction. And the system also knows that there's an inbound link about to happen. So there's, we're linking a change lane node inbound. And these are all the possible links that it's calculated. We basically want this one here. And if we click on here, it says it's ID1. And we don't really need to worry about that because right here, it's listed all the links that are possible. And we have two options with each link. You can reveal it, which won't actually link it, or you can link it, which is the button that tells you blue primary, which is, this is the blue primary, to ID 0. And as you recall, this one was actually ID 1. So if we go down to blue primary ID 1, which is this one, we go reveal, it will show us that that's the link that's possible to make. So, sure, we click on the, the actual button to make the link, and the link's made. That's the only link we need to make on that particular piece when it's anchored edit, so we'll save that out. The next piece what we want to link, or the next link we want to make, is this lane here runs across the direction down here and over to here. And also this lane runs in here and goes this way as well. So we want to link this one and this one to the pink primary node. We go anchor to edit to do so. It's revealed it has an outbound link because now the T intersection is the anchor, not the edit and another piece is the edit, so we're linking in that direction. Uh, and then we just go through and reveal all the pieces, that's one of them, that we want to link together. And that's another. So that's those two links made. Save that out. Now let's make links back into the T intersection. And it'll be the blue primary to that piece, uh, that node and that node. So blue primary, that's one of them, and the other one is that one. 
So now they're both linked up to start going this way and start going around the corner. Save that out. Set this one to be an outbound, which will be this node here to that one. So we got a, a pink ID with a blue primary. Pink ID, that one. So now the, the traffic can head in that direction. Save that out. And we want this pink node to go with this change lane node to head around the corner. And we just start revealing those ones to find it. That's what we want. And finally, we want this full change lane to happen. So we need to pink, pick this node to link with this primary node. So we set that as the anchor and that is the edit. And we just start to reveal the one we want. That's the one. Okay, so that's all hooked up. Don't need to do anything else. Save that out. Head over to the other one. Okay, we make the same connection. Set anchor to edit. Back to our traffic system, link those up. So now they can go straight through. Save that out. While we're over here, we can link these two together. Set that to edit. Oh, I missed it. Set that to edit. That one. Save. We want that one and that one to be linked with this one. One of them. That's the other. We now want an inbound, which this one links with that one and that one. That's one of them. That's the other. We also want to link this lane over from this one to this one with that to that. That's it. And finally, we want to come back this way and link this primary node with that one right there. And that's it there. So you'll see that everything else is linked up. These can be moved around as well just to check that the links are there. And sorry, we missed one. This one over here. We need to go back to our traffic system, save that out, and create that link. Where right, that's the one. Okay. That'll look pretty good. So there you have it. There's your figure eight traffic system.